Rabbi Blumenthal was the head of a kolol in Israel. He went off to London on a fundraising mission. And he had spent a couple of weeks in England raising money for his very important kolol. And he got into a cab on the way back to the airport, he was heading for Heathrow. And as he was sitting in the back of the cab, the cab driver looked in the mirror, river mirror and he said, well, you're a rabbi, aren't you? He says, yeah. He says, well, you know, I'm Jewish too, you know. Ray Blumenthal said, wow, that's great. Nice, very nice to meet you. Wow, terrific. He said, yeah, yeah, you know, I even have a daughter who became religious. And she married a young man who's himself, they live in Israel, he's studying in a kolel. Ray Blumenthal said, wow, that's great. Yeah, they have three kids, my grandchildren, you know, these are their names. He starts talking about his family. Ray Blumenthal's thrilled to meet a man who has a daughter who even made a commitment to Torah Judaism. My son-in-law who's studying in kolel. And then the man winks at him in the room and he says, you know, my wife had a uh, reform conversion, so she's not really Jewish, but uh, we never told my daughter because we didn't want to upset her. And the blood in Rabbi Blumenthal's veins ran cold because if his wife isn't Jewish, that means his daughter's not Jewish because by Torah law, Judaism is passed through the maternal line, which means that the grandchildren are not Jewish, which means the couple can't be married. And Rabbi Blumenthal says to him, well, you know, where does your daughter live? He says, she lives in B'nai Brak. He says, well, that's very interesting because, you know, I also live in B'nai Brak. What kolo does your son-in-law study at? He says, oh, I forgot the name. It's something I think he said, uh, I think he said, uh, base Torah. And again, Rabbi Blumenthal got the second shock because that was his kolo. That was the kolo he was collecting for. There was a young man studying under him and under his direction. The happy ending is he went back to Israel. The necessary conversions were taken care of, and everybody lived happily ever after. But there's a very important lesson for us to keep in mind. Imagine 20 years down the line when those grandchildren would have wanted to get married themselves, and nobody would have known. And then there would have been an investigation of their background. It would have been determined that they're not Jewish. At that point, there would have been a lot of aggravation. For Rabbi Blumenthal to meet a cab driver in London where they have a shared acquaintance right under his jurisdiction, the odds are astronomically against that. But the Almighty is not limited by the odds.